Really quick guys, before this video gets started, there are approximately two weeks left to get the I got this shirt because Destry got demonetized again shirt. So make sure to check it out, link in the description down below or at deskmerch.com. Well, hello there. Hello, beautiful. I see that you're not wearing a shirt. I like it. You're probably wearing a shirt. Anyways, um... <laughs> yes, as you guys know, that shitty horn sound means it is time once again to hop into another monthly favorites video. The show where we talk about stuff. Are you a fan of stuff and things? Let me know. I'm doing stuff, Lori. Thanks. So yes, as per usual with these monthly favorite videos guys, please leave in the comments down below anything that you guys enjoyed from these months that I'm talking about. Uh, I'm really trying to expand my knowledge on just everything, uh, whether it be movies, video games, books, all of that stuff. So please let me know what you guys are into in the comments below. Okay. So, uh, as far as movies, uh, in the month of February, I really only watched, um, like, 17 movies. I know, it was a little bit of a slow month for me. But yeah, I, uh, re-watched all of the Marvel movies from Iron Man 1 all the way to, uh, Infinity War. And my god, what an emotional roller coaster! I mean, I've already seen those movies, like, a hundred times, but, you know, it's nice to re-watch it again before I am emotionally crushed next month because of Endgame. I'm ready for it. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> Please, Thanos. You know, and I actually included, uh, the original 2000 and three Ang Lee Hulk into that rotation as well, which if you know anything about the Marvel Universe, we don't count that movie. We just like, we don't talk about it. But it was still, it's weird because like I watched it again and I kind of had a different like appreciation for it because when I first watched it, it's fucking bad. Like even if you watch it to this day, you're gonna say, Destry, why did you make me watch this? This is terrible. But I almost like, I watched it in an artistic standpoint and I understood what the director was going for. And I like, in that sense, I was like, oh, this isn't that bad of a movie. But then uh, I remember, I think Chase was over or someone was over and they're just like why are you watching this fucking literal trash so you ever watch movies that are just really bad and you know they're bad but they still are good in your head and you still enjoy watching them that's what the hulk is for me like the original hulk like grown ups grown ups is a terrible movie okay like and and i don't know why but for some reason that's a movie that i like constantly put on when i'm trying to go to sleep just cuz like you know Adam Sandler laughing at his own jokes, I guess, puts me to sleep, so. <laughs> also, I watched a movie called Overlord, which is basically a uh, history piece, sort of about World War II, but kind of told from a perspective of, like, more of a gory standpoint, and, like, it kind of delves more into, like, the experimentation that a lot of people think happened in World War II. Um, you know, Hitler had a, a giant obsession with the occult and stuff like that, so it kind of goes more into that side of, like, what could have happened in World War II. If you guys have ever played the Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein? Wolfens Wolfenstein? Wolfensteins! Uh, if you've ever played the Wolfenstein games, basically, it's a it's a story about how, like, if what would have happened in World War II if the Nazis would have won instead, and so it's sort of like that. I wouldn't say it's, like, one of my favorite movies ever. Uh, it's definitely, like, a movie that I enjoyed watching. I thought I'd mention it anyways, but if you guys like that kind of stuff, definitely check it out. This is gonna be a big surprise to you guys, but uh, I actually did not re-watch all of Game of Thrones before the next season comes out next month, and uh, it's something that I usually do every single time there's a new season of Game of Thrones. I like rewatch all of it. I didn't do that this year. Wow, I know. But I did, however, rewatch Dexter for like the ninth time now. Um, I have a problem. It's just a really good show. Um, I think that probably in the shows that I rewatch, it's like Dexter, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. If you think that like serial killer documentaries where it kind of like goes into the mind of serial killers and why they do the things that they do, if you think that kind of stuff is interesting, you'd really like Dexter. It does kind of tell it from more of like a drama uh, perspective. There's still like gore and there's still like really interesting like uh, psychological things that you learn about the characters in the, in the show. But it definitely is more drama oriented and for any of you people out there who have seen this show, we just don't talk about the eighth season, all right? I, I refuse to watch it. It's not good. Don't do it. So yeah, rewatch Dexter again. Um, I also started to watch The uh, Haunting of Hill House, I believe it's called. Did not get that far into it. It's not, it wasn't that I wasn't interested. It was just that I was really distracted as I was watching it. And every single time since then, I, I just haven't really gotten back into it, but it seemed pretty interesting. I'm not really like a huge horror show fan, so like it was kind of harder for me to get into, I guess, than probably normal people, but pretty interesting. So apart from my music, uh, because I've been working on just way too many songs recently, I made like a fucking rap song. I don't give a fuck. No, bitch, I'm sure. I made a dad rock song. I'm better off without you. I made a European goth pop song. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So other than 
other than my music, um, a few of my favorite artists have been making a lot of music recently, which I've been real stoked about. So one of my favorite artists, Bayon, made an album this month, and it is just such a, such a good album. <laughs> it's so bad. It's just such a spicy, spicy meatball. Mmm, oui oui, molto bello. I don't know what I'm saying. It's just really good. Um, the way that he mixes and masters and uh, makes his music is incredible. I've been a fan of his for the last few years. I actually found him from listening to a song while I was really depressed in Panera, <laughs> believe it or not. It's actually how I found a lot of my music, which is weird. But yeah, he recently uh, made another album and it is fantastic. All of the songs really just fill your body with sound and you just feel tingly all over. Yeah. You, so, you wanna, you wanna get tingly, baby? <laughs> Another one of my favorite artists, Pure Bathing Culture, which is a local Portland band. I know that I've talked about them before a lot of times, um, but they recently made a new single for their new album, which is going to be coming out next month. Actually, a lot of new things are coming out next month. I'm really excited for April. But yeah, their new single is amazing. Definitely should check it out. Um, I am going to definitely see them live as often as I possibly can. You guys are great. And if you're watching this, which I, you're probably not. But if you are watching this, I just want to say I appreciate you guys a lot and thank you for making incredibly great music for everyone. And she And then lastly, one of my favorite artists, Brother Tiger, again, a very indie musician, recently made another album, and that is just, a, it's a very, like, 80s driven, kind of, um, groovin' type of style, if you're into that kind of stuff, but, yes, uh, definitely check those out, I will leave the links for that in the description down below. So this month, um, I played through Let's Go Pikachu. We actually played it on stream, and that was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I think that in the ratings of how I would rate the different uh, Pokemon games since I've been playing since Blue, honestly, Let's Go Pikachu, it really does combine the best elements of, like, all the Pokemon games. You know, like, when you play Pokemon Go and there's it's just easy to catch it's like, you know, you don't you don't battle any Pokemon to actually catch them. It takes that element and it's really awesome to 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 catch Pokemon in this game. And also it was great that you actually saw what Pokemon you were running into or trying to catch on the screen. That was amazing. And basically I just think that Let's Go Pikachu was just the best culmination of uh, great graphics, um, easy to play gameplay, and they really did combine all of the best elements of all of the Pokemon games into a fantastic game. So easily a 9 out of 10. I love that game. I'll probably play it very soon again. And uh, yeah, if you uh, have not followed me yet on Twitch, I highly recommend you do since I'll be playing Spyro pretty soon. So really excited about that one. Also this month, I replayed one of my favorite games of all time, which is the Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Destry, what the f*** is that? I've never heard of that game in my life. Yes, I know. And it's sad that not more people have heard of this game because it is so breathtaking. It's so great. Let me try to pitch it to you, all right? Take God of War, take Fate take World of Warcraft, take Skyrim, and then mix them all together. That's what Kingdoms of Ambler is. The storytelling is great, the quests are great, the battle system is great. Everything in that fucking game is amazing. The graphics, like everything, everything is great about that game. And it bums me the f out that not more people have heard of it or played it because holy f if you guys would just give it a chance, you would love it. I just realized how much my editor is gonna have to bleep that part. Haha, <laughs> 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 fuck. Gotcha. But yeah, this this playthrough, because I was doing the whole Marvel movie watching thing, I actually made the character of Thor, and I specifically only did lightning magic and hammers the entire game, so and I tried to really stick to that. <laughs> yes, okay, I know, I'm a giant nerd. Thank you, thank you. And finally, the best thing. So, uh, the best thing, I think, for me in February, uh, as I mentioned in the last Monthly Flavors video, is I kept doing karaoke, so that was pretty neat, um, but I won't mention that as, as the best thing, since that was kind of uh, last month. Month thing. But this month, I would say really that just the best thing of, of this entire month has been um, visiting with different friends, uh, making new friends, uh, making a lot of music this month. So I think like in total, 
in the month of just February, we made like six or seven songs, or started six or seven songs, finished like three of them, but I just, I, I've been having so much fun just trying different styles of music lately, so that's uh, that's probably just the most, the best thing about it. And then, yeah, like like I mentioned, uh, just making different friends and, and, and going out, out of my comfort zone and just hanging out, doing, just doing things. Just doing stuff, you know, like it's been great. I highly recommend, um, if you don't have a social life, it, it's definitely try it out. <laughs> social interaction is actually quite neat. Who knew? I know, I've always been an advocate for uh, staying indoors and not uh, seeing a single person, but it was, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, one of my friends from Kentucky who helped me with the Spooky Man video came and we just had a fantastic little time being stupid and doing karaoke. So, psst, Sarah, if you're watching, so Also, in the realm of the best thing that happened in February, I went to Sky Zone, so if you never heard of Sky Zone or, or anything like it, it's basically a uh, massive room filled with trampolines. Cool thing about me is uh, I'm 28 now. Yeah, uh, still have emo hair, I know. Uh, and I'm, tw I'm 28, and um, I keep thinking that uh, it's a great idea to try to test my physical strength, only to find that when I do, I'm always disappointed. I was like, yeah, dude, let's go to a fucking jump park. Let's jump on some trampolines. Let's tramp on some jumpolines. I was so excited. Only to find that like 10 minutes into it, I wanted to actually die. <laughs> yeah, no, I was I was so out of breath and like I was uh, hanging out with the chick at the time that I was on the trampolines and I was kept trying to be like, I'm not out of breath, watch this, I can do, if I can do 17 more flips, I wanna die. I wanna fucking die. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was still fun. So if you're in the Portland area ever, I, I highly recommend going to Sky Zone. I think they're all over the country actually, so it's a fun place to go. Um, just be aware that you will be out of breath within the first five minutes and you'll be very disappointed. <laughs> Anyways guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Um, thank you again so much for watching another monthly favorites video. Again, I know that the show really isn't for everyone. Um, I just really enjoy making these because it, it really does expand my musical tastes and uh, just everything. And I, I really appreciate that you guys sit through this, watch this, help me out with these kind of things. And uh, hopefully I was able to inspire you or show you guys some new cool things. Okay, I've had just way too much sugar today, so I gotta go. <laughs> the amount of outtakes in this video, I'm sure that Jay can tell you, but with this text on this screen right now, that this is not a fun video to edit. Anyways guys, thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to check out the link in the description down below to get my new merch. My new merch, merch. That's it though guys, I will see you next time for another monthly favorites video and fair wins.